In honor of Black History Month tonight, we have an up close and personal look at the work of a local photographer who's been documenting African American communities for her ongoing project, Black Florida. CBS 4's Ruta Bay Shabazi shows how the collection bridges time and focuses on the history of Pompano Beach. If you look into the faces of these men, women, and children, you can feel their history, deeply personal stories, the fabric of a colorful and dynamic community. This woman picked beans to put her sister through school. I've spent more time with her than anyone else. Sometimes I go by just to hang out and chat with her. This female barber works in a tiny corner of her house. I was really impressed with um, how comfortable she is with the space that she's using. The woman who captured them all, Johan Rahman, an office administrator during the week, moonlighting as a cultural photographer on the weekends, documenting African American communities throughout Florida, stepping into their homes and personal spaces. Two years into a journey she anticipates will take two decades. Even though we're from marginalized communities, we have another story to tell, which is we, we're bigger than that. We're way more complex than just the story of ghetto life. Rahman uses the lens to tell the stories you don't usually see on the news, the ones you hear about in private conversations with friends and family members. It's the age-old story of the working class community. It's, it's the story of my, my community that I grew up in in Trinidad and my family. Rahman's images, known as the Florida Project, caught the attention of Sarah Benichu, curator and director at Bailey Contemporary Arts. She was struck by the parallels between Rahman's work and a collection of 150 negatives from the 1930s she found in the archives of the African American Research Library and Cultural Center. Images that are this old, there's not the same kind of connection um, with the photographer that there clearly is in this collection. Last year, Benichu developed the old negatives into prints, retouched them herself, and put them on exhibit, showcasing the history of the black community in Pompano Beach. She recognized the same qualities in Rahman's work and reached out to her, asking her to document the present day black community in Pompano Beach. These raw, stunning photos are the results. I hope that one day someone will be using these images for something of this uh, nature. It's hard to miss the parallels between these two bodies of work. There's a lot of physical closeness and familial closeness and community closeness um, that is in these images that give them so much warmth. And on the day the photos were hung, the first visitors recognizing their family members and experience these artists hope will happen for years to come. And Rahman finds some of her subject matter in photos for her photos in different ways, including Instagram. She's also been interviewing them on her iPhone, compiling a history for future generations. The exhibit is free and runs through the end of March. For more information, visit our website, cbsmiami.com. Elliot.